Hey, we're good. This is your bra from another mother, Shane. Uh, just sitting in the car driving to. Yeah, there she is, right back there, asleep. She does this every time when we are on the way to Taekwondo. Uh, so any music you hear in the background is just my radio. Um, but she's sleeping in the back right now. And we're heading to Taekwondo. I told y'all I'll bring y'all on a ride along and everything. So been driving her for about the last 10, 15 minutes. And traffic. This is traffic. Can you see that, guys? Oh my God, look at that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I have no AC and it's almost 90 degrees here in Virginia, which if anybody knows Virginia weather, you kind of want AC, especially during the summer months. But uh, yeah, so come along, join us. Maybe I can get the kid awake in a little bit. I don't know, she's kind of hard to wake up. But yeah, so, you know, forgive me, I'm driving, trying to pay attention, got idiots on the road. It's Thursday, last day of school here, so yeah, fun, 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 ha, 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 and my phone wants to keep falling because the cell phone holder I have is a piece of hey. Cuts, rounds, princess cuts, emerald cuts, big diamonds, straight from the diamond cutters. If that first diamond you bought her way back when is looking a little small, all right, let's see what we got going here. Nope. Okay, we'll go with it. Let's go. This light takes forever. I hate driving. People are sitting in their cars watching me talk to my phone like I'm an idiot or something. It's funny! Ha 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 ha! Oh look! The light turned green! Yay! Now the bad thing is... Is... Now I gotta wait to get through the light. Because legit, these people are idiots around here. And in case nobody knows, I'm from Virginia. Home of one of the world's largest naval bases. It's pretty big. It kind of sucks being in a military town, but hey, what are you going to do when your parents decide to live here? Well, see, I have a goal of eventually trying to get out of Virginia, but so far that has worked. Because I will save up the money to leave. And... What stopped me the last seven years is right back there in my seat. Uh, you know, I got married when I was 26 to her mother. Uh, you know, went through a nasty separation, nasty divorce. I have full custody of my daughter from my ex-wife. Um... I've been raising her for seven years pretty much on my own with the help of family if it really wasn't for them I don't think you know I would be where I am today and I thank them every day um, but yo help me out thumbs up give some likes to the channel share it subscribe like comment I don't care what you do I'm really not doing this for no one but myself it's kind of like my own version of therapy by the way if y'all by any chance hear me using different words it's because I'm trying not to cuss and being on YouTube not so good
but yeah so she's my reason for living she's my reason even when I'm super down and depressed that I get up and push myself through in the morning she is the reason I am sitting in almost 90 degree weather with no AC heading to her Taekwondo class for the night she makes my life a little more enjoyable she brings great joy to my family she just got promoted today to second grade so yeah my baby's smart she's been on be on a roll all year y'all the entire year be on a roll look at her she's still sleeping back there oh you can't see her now Her class starts at 5.45, it's 5.35, and I still got a little ways to go. I got another 15, 20 minute car ride. Hopefully we can get there in time. If anybody studies Taekwondo, then they know that, you know, you start off at ninth grade white and go down. And there's only nine degrees of black belt. So she's working to get her black belt. She's up to camo now. Uh, trying to get her ready to go to her next color belt, which will be green. We're hoping by the end of the year that she'll be in almost her black belt. That's what, that's what our goal is, is almost black belt. Um, but yeah, so me and her mother went through a nasty divorce. I took full custody of her. Um, I basically do the single parenting thing. My ex's boyfriend, he has stepped in as stepdad. And that's fine by me. I mean, all the help. I love the fact that he's helping. He actually helps me pay part of the Taekwondo bill each month. And um, yeah, you know, I can't ask for a better person than what he is to my daughter. Um, you know, at first, I didn't want to like him because of him taking my family from me. But as I got to know him and see him interact with my daughter, I can kind of give up a little bit on that. But at the same time, when your ex sits there and sends you mixed signals about what they want from you it, it's hard to fully move on and you know that's what my ex-wife does she sends me mixed signals all the damn time and it is a in head game and I don't like it I don't like it at all because this female has me under her control and I'm not able to move on and it kind of sucks a lot but what can you do it's kind of like one of those weeby sedibo moments Yes, I know what it stands for. We'll buy your car if you don't even buy our car. But what can I say? I'm a sucker for stupid things like that. For some reason, a stupid CarMax commercial is just stuck in my head. And uh, so, yeah, I didn't make this light. I got like 
10 more lights to go through. So, we're about there. She's still sleeping, y'all. She does this. I'll wake her up about halfway there. Uh, you know, I, lo I love my family, but at the same time, I question the fact that some of my family can't love me because of my lifestyle. And on top of that, I had a friend tell me that church people don't have a problem with you being gay as long as you're a non-practicing lesbian or gay or tranny. Well, not tranny. I don't want to say tranny because that might offend someone. But if, as long as you're not an active LGBTQ member they don't have a problem with you let me rephrase that um, and you know I find that very offensive it's not that I haven't chosen to be an active LGBTQ member it's the fact that you know for the past seven years I've been raising my daughter been going through a nasty divorce been trying to get my life back on track and every woman that I meet, all they want is a little hookup, a little nook nook. I ain't looking for that. I'm looking for someone to settle down with. You know, I'm 32. Them nook nooks and them hookups and them booty calls ain't my style no more. It's just annoying as hell to be 32, single, with no one to come home to at night, or have no one to come to have someone to be home with me besides, you know, my grandmother. Because my living situation, I live with my grandmother and my mother, and we rent a four bedroom house. And not having that other adult that I can say, well, I love you too. I missed you. How was your day? Uh, you know, things like that. Someone to lay and watch Netflix with or YouTube or make those kooky, almost make you want to vomit videos on Facebook that you see of other couples. You know, I talked about this in one of my videos. I struggle with, I struggle with depression and anxiety. And I also have thyroid condition. I have a few other medical conditions that keep me from working. So basically, I'm a full-time parent. Uh, my biggest thing I struggle with though out of all my medical conditions is my depression um, I've been so depressed And you know what let me back up and explain what I'm gonna tell you I was in the 11th grade in high school And I went to Northview High, which is a local high school in Virginia where I'm from um And I had been with my girlfriend for over six years. And we were talking about getting married and, you know, things like that. And, well, come to find out, the last year and a half of our relationship, she was cheating on me with some dude. And just for GP, 
we're gonna use a name that she is not her name. So her name was Janie. And Janie and I were together for almost seven years when we broke up. And it, it got me, guys, because, you know, I had proposed to her. I had, you know, told her how much I love her, bought her a nice ring. And we were due to get married after we graduated high school, which would have been 2004. And Janie and I we broke up because she was cheating on me. Well, so, you know, I didn't take it too well. And then, you know, we were talking about kids and everything, you know, through a friend of mine that was a friend of hers. I found out she was pregnant with the person's baby she was cheating on me with. So I just got really depressed and really sad and just, you know, started spiraling. Sorry, guys. Um, talking about this really gets me in the heart. Uh, so, you know, we, we broke up. I got really depressed and I just spiraled out of control just and so one day I finally took it I couldn't handle it no more I was done it was BS and I was at school and um so I was in my last period for the day before I went home and uh, so while I was there in my last class of the day guys uh, I couldn't take it no more I got sick of hearing all the rumors and shit and um, so I was in art class at this period and you know those silver dog chains that you get that you uh, put around the dog's neck and then you have the leash tethered to it and it's like a metal chain and you pull it and it gets tight on the dog's neck to kind of like, hey, stupid, stop pulling. Well, I had them around mine and I had two of them. So, my stupid ass. Give me a second, guys. Be sure to wear your flip flops and receive a free sunshine smoothie. Powered by Planet Fitness, home of the judgment free zone. <clears throat> Took some yarn and tied to the metal ring around it. And I pulled both of the metal collars as tight as I could around my throat. And uh, took the yarn, which is like, I guess, four foot of yarn, and I wrapped it around my neck as tight as I could. So I was cutting off my air supplies. And uh, my mom, you know, decided she was going to have me put on, you know, one of the special ed buses for the special ed kids. Which didn't bother me none because I like the fact that I got picked up right out front of my house and dropped off and didn't have to walk <clears throat> four blocks. And so, you know, I went, got on the bus. My bus driver, Miss Robin Pena, or Pena, I, I don't know how you say her last name now. Um, but my bus driver, Miss Robin, she asked me to take the chains from around my neck and everything, and I refused to do that. So while I'm refusing to do that, she's asking me, and the whole time my face is just getting bluer and bluer and bluer. And at that point, it's, it's like, you know, I have five minutes before I was dead. And, um...
You know, it's it's not the easiest thing to talk about. So, um, my bus driver came and cut the yarn from around my neck, took the chains off. She made me take off my shoes and hand her my coat and anything else that had strings. I couldn't have my chains on my bus that were hanging from my wallet. Um, <clears throat> and so that Monday morning, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> my mom gets a phone call from my guidance counselor from high school and uh, says that they need to meet with both of us first thing Monday morning. So, Monday morning rolls around and my bus driver at Broda Doton to uh, my guidance counselor and told him that, uh, you know, I, I tried to kill myself on the bus. And so, uh, you know, like my, my guidance counselor hands me the note and, uh, I read it and, you know, here's this woman that's only known me. since elementary school. And, you know, she's telling them how much of a waste it would be if I was to do this and everything. And, um, that I'm a bright, smart, talented young woman. And that, you know, it would be a shame if anything happened to me. So my mom, who I would think would be, you know, oh, honey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll get you the help. She goes, really? You had to do this? Drama? You couldn't even, you know she pulled that shit didn't care it was like you know it was bullshit when and no one in my family at this point knew that I was gay but all my friends knew so yeah oh excuse me guys I gotta get the kid up we're almost to Taekwondo. Hey, Ray! Ray! Wake up, kiddo! What? You're hot? That's what I said. You said you're hot. Alright, well, we're almost to Taekwondo. You're late, but I mean, I tried. Hey, Ray, say hi to everyone. Look, right here. Look, on my phone. Can you tell them your name? What's your name? Maria. how old are you? Who's the coolest mom in the world? Who's Mama Shell? I am. You think Mommy Vicky's pretty cool? No, I said I think she does bad things Yeah, well, anybody hates their mom when they do bad things to them. Well, that's a typical kid for you there, people. Because, um, because she, 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 she,
I know love, but you know what? Okay, hey, hey. Look, this is Mama's channel on YouTube. So, which Mommy Vicky doesn't know about, so we're not going to say nothing to her. So, Mama ends the video with peace, love, happiness, and I go, and then I end my video. You want to help me today? Yeah. All right, you ready? Peace. Say love. love. Happiness. Joy. 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 Much love, guys. Peace out. You gonna give him the send off?